This is one of the best point guards in America, Cassius Winston from Michigan State. They take on LSU Friday in D.C. And Cassius, everybody's goal right now is the same. They want to be playing their best basketball. You all clearly are. What has allowed that to happen? Uh, you know, we, we just do a really good job of, you know, focusing on the things that we can control, you know, our defense, our energy, just things like that. Or, you know, everything else isn't in our control. We, we spend a lot of time just taking care of everything that we can control. That's interesting because in, uh, injuries, rather, are out of your control. And you all have suffered some significant ones throughout this year. Throughout the, fr from the time that you say lose Langford to, to now, how have you all kind of reinvented yourself? Um, I think we just we rely on each other a lot more. I think when your team has a lot more talented players, then you know individuals just have to bring themselves, and you know the team will be good that way. But you know without as many talented guys, you know such as Langford, and we didn't have a Nick. You know we just spend a lot of time just relying on each other and just having our teammates back the whole time while we're out there. You are the guy. You are the on-floor leader. You're the all Big Ten point guard. You're you're the man on the floor to lead this team. What comes with that at Michigan State? What do you feel like your responsibility is as the on-floor leader? Ah, uh, man, just to uh, keep the composure. You know, it's a, it's, it's a, we play hard, we play fast, so it's a lot of times that, you know, things may be able to get out of control and things like that. So, you know, I keep the composure, keep everyone confident, keep everyone with a, with a steady mind, steady focus on the goal at hand. Mm-hmm. Now, you said get, keep your composure. I, last week, Coach Izzo got into Aaron Henry. I spoke about it on my show, and the reaction has been pretty amazing, man, um, to, to what people had to say about it. And I pointed out that you and McQuaid seniors said to Tom in that moment, we got this. What should people understand about that dynamic that maybe they might misunderstand? Uh, just, you know, they just don't understand how much Coach cares for us, you know. All, all that is just him showing his, emo his emotion, you know what I'm saying? He spends so much time with us, invests so much time with us, and wants us to be the best players that we possibly can be. So if someone isn't doing an assignment, of course you're going to get frustrated. Of course you're going to get angry. But it's all just because you want the best for them. You want them doing the best that they possibly can out there. See, and that's the part that I tried to explain, but see people like, what are you talking about? You said the key point. That's he he cares that much for you. Now, people are like, well, why is he yelling like that? You've been there for four years. Like what behind the scenes? What have you seen and what have you experienced in moments where maybe you didn't understand that that was how he, his care was going to show itself? Uh, you just like I said, just people don't people don't see all he all he does for us. You know, the hours he spends, the uh, you know, it's been times where he picked us up to take us to class. It's been times where. You know, he, he'll, you know, make sure we get some food, just all type of stuff where he just, you know, he cares for us as a person, not even as just players. And the same way he'll yell at you, he'll be the first one to cry. You know, people so quickly forgot about how he cried when Kyle went down. You know, he was the main one crying just because he feels for us and he cares for us that much. And see, that, I tried to point that out, too. This is, this is Kyle Ahrens is, a, is a, uh, a, a valuable member of your team, but not a starter. He, he hurts his ankle there in Chicago, and there's his, and he's, and he's crying. So I, I feel like, as an outside observer, that you all have a very intense loyalty in a program that, that, that breeds toughness. Is that a source of pride within you and the guys that have worn uh, the green and white before you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we pride ourselves on... You know, we want to be the toughest team. We want to be the closest team, you know, when, you know, a lot of people preach brotherhood, but, you know, we are, we're actually brothers. You know, we, we do everything together. We care for each other. Uh, we know each other's families. We know each other's siblings. Ladies, you know, this is it's literally a family. So, you know, we feel for each other. It's not just on the court stuff. It's off the court stuff, too. And, and just as a last thought, how, how much does the idea of that family help itself, particularly now when these games become the most important that you'll play, and in your case, the last however many you've got left? Uh, it's huge, you know, just to you go out there and you don't have to worry about if, if your teammates will have your back. Sure. You know, that's, that's really it. You know, you're comfortable out there. Uh, if you make a mistake, if I make a mistake, I know my team is going to pick up for me. So you're not scared to make mistakes. You're just going out there and just trying to play and be the best possible player you can be for your team. Well, you're the guy that leads the show, man, and uh, I, I, sure wish, I sure wish my dirty Terps would have been uh, on the other side of the floor giving you guys uh, a run for your <laughs> money, Florida, but I guess, I, uh, on Friday, rather. But I guess I'll be, have to cheer for the conference, man. Good luck to you uh, against LSU on Friday and then beyond, Cassius. Appreciate your time.
Thank you. Appreciate it.